Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mr. Hopak with a homework help video on Lesson 4.2 Homework. Uh, so, looking at this, uh, dealing with slope and wire intercept, let's just jump right into this. I'm going to work number one. Okay. So, with number one, uh, your first step in you basically you need to find the slope and the wire intercept of each line, and then write an equation in slope intercept form. So, my first step is to pick the leftmost point. And then once I pick the leftmost point, I'm going to do change in Y over change in X in order to find my slope, M. Now once I do that, I ask myself, how do I got to change vertically to get to this point? So I would go down 1. Down 1 would be negative 1. Because down on the Y axis is negative. So negative 1 over, and then how do I change horizontally to get to that point? I'm going to go right 2 times. 1, 2. So I write 2 times, which is a positive 2. So now I have negative 1 over 2, which would be m equals negative 1 half. So that's just your slope. So we found the slope. Now we find the y-intercept. Now keep in mind the y-intercept is where the line inter intersects the y-axis. So where does it, this line intersect the y-axis? It intersects it right here. So I'm going to count up from the origin. 1, 2, 3. So my b is 3. It's not 0, comma 3. That is, 0, comma 3 is the coordinate for the y-intercept, but the y-intercept where it intersects is just 3. So now I have m and b. I just need to put it into this equation, slope-intercept form. So it's y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. That's number 1. Um, let's do number 3. So look at number 3. It's a negative slope. Um, or actually, yeah, let's go with number two instead of number three because that's a negative one. So j to show you a positive one, uh, first step, we're going to find slope by doing the change in y over the change in x. So find a point. Find the leftmost point. Once we find that point, we're going to change vertically. So change in y. How do we change on the y-axis? Well, we would go up one, two, three. So I change vertically by 3. Let me scoot the paper over. So again, change in Y over the change in X. I change vertically 3 times. 1, 2, 3. So, and then how do I change horizontally? 1, 2, 3. So 3 over 3. 3 over 3 would be 1. So my M is 1. Now I need to find B. Where does this intersect the Y axis? Well, here's your y-axis. Where does this line intersect it? It intersects it right here. So here's your origin. So here's 0. So 1, 2. So it intersects it at 2. Oop. 2. So now I write the equation. I got y equals uh, mx plus b. So that would be y equals 1x plus b. My bad. Y equals 1x plus 2. We know that B is 2 now. But I don't actually have to write a 1 there, so my final, I would just write Y equals X plus 2. So I have my M, I have my Y intercept to B, and I have my equation. Either one of these equations would work right here. Okay, let's skip down to number 7. Okay, now with number seven, you got to find slope, y-intercept, and you have to write an equation. So here is how you would find the slope. Slope's pretty easy. We've been doing this for a little bit. So slope from this is the change in y over the change in x, which is the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. After I write my formula, I label my points x, y, x, y, 1, 1, 2, 2. And then I'm going to fill that in. So y2 is 20. y1 is 8. x2 is 14. x1 is 12. So then from there, 20 minus 8. 20 minus 8 would be 12. 14 minus 2 or excuse me, 14 minus 12 is 2. 12 over 2 is 6. Okay? Then from there, we now have M. 
But now what we need to find is we need to find B. Well, if you have M and you have X, Y coordinates, you can find B by using slope-intercept form. So I know M is 6. Now what you need to do is pick one of those points. Pick either 12 or 12 comma 8 or in 14 comma 20. You got to pick one of them. So I'm going to pick 12 comma 8. So 12 comma 8. And I have X and Y. So that leads me to Y equals MX plus B. So now I have y equals mx plus v. I have an x and a y and an m. So I'm going to substitute all of this into this equation to solve for b. So y is 8. So 8 equals what's m? m is 6. x is 12. I got the m by using these coordinates to find slope. I got the x and y from just picking one of those coordinates. And then I say plus b. So then I have 8 equals 6 times 12 would be 72 plus B. And then to isolate B there, you're going to have to subtract 72 from both sides. Do the inverse operation. That cancels. I got B is equal to 8 minus 62. Well, since signs are different, find the difference. 72 minus 8 would be 64. So, and you take the sign from the bigger number, so it's negative 64. So now I've got my B, I have my M, so my equation would be Y equals 6X minus 64. So I found my M, I found my B, my B now is negative 64. Let's look at number 8, or excuse me, not number 8, number 9. Let's look at number 9. <clears throat> number 9 shouldn't be that bad because it actually gives us, the, if you look at it, it gives us the y-intercept. When x is 0, this is your y-intercept. Okay, So here we go. We're going to find the slope first. So m equals the change in y over the change in x, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We label xy, xy, 1, 1, 2, 2. That's kind of the setup for all. Okay, then from there, I'm going to plug everything in. So I'm going to say uh, 1 minus negative 3 over 0 minus um, negative 4. So then I'm just going to add, 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 add. 3 plus 1 is 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 over 4 is 1. So now I know m is 1. And I actually don't have to use y equals mx plus b because it gave me the y-intercept because when x is 0, y, the y is your b. So b is 1 as well. So we say y equals 1x plus 1, which would be simplified to y equals x plus 1 because we don't have to put that 1 there. Let me work one more like that just because this can kind of, it can get a little nasty. So let me work this number 12 just because it may look like a little difficult. So first step, uh, you're going to write it out, m equals the change in y over the change in x, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I have xy, xy, 1, 1, 2, 2, which is, if you write this out, negative 11 minus 17 and negative 19 uh, minus negative 12. So negative 11 minus uh, 17 would be negative 28 over negative 19 plus 12. The two negatives turn to a positive. So negative 19 moved to the right 12 times would take you to, well, the signs are different, so just subtract them, and that would take you to negative 7. Well, negative divided by negative is a positive. 28 divided by 7 is 4. So my M is 4, but now I have to go find my B. So how do I find my B? I use the Y 
e equals mx plus b and I use my m and I pick one of those points. I'm just going to go with negative 12 and 17 because at least one of them doesn't have a negative. So here we go. We'd have y. Here's my x and my y. So watch. I'm going to substitute all of this in here. So I'm going to substitute my 17 in for my y. So 17 equals my m. I just found it to be 4. And my x is negative 12. And then plus b. So that 17 equals negative 48 plus b. Now what should I do? I gotta do the inverse operation, so I gotta add 48 to both sides, add 48 to both sides, and that cancels there, leaving me with b is equal to 17 plus 48, that's 15, add the 1, uh, 4 and 1, and that is 65. So b is 65. My final thing is my equation, y equals 4x plus 65. From there, we are going to go to number, I will work number 13 real quick. And that will be the last one I'll work. And then I think from these examples, you should be able to figure it out. So first thing, pick two points. I'm actually just going to pick these two points instead of the first two. I'm just going to pick those. So I got 0, comma, negative 2, and I have 4, comma, 0. Don't, get the, don't write 0, comma, 4, negative 2, comma, 0. It's up and down, remember, x and y. So I got... Uh, m equals the change in y over the change in x, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Which becomes, once you write it out, label xy, xy1122, I have 0 minus negative 2 and 4 minus 0. Well, that right there becomes a plus plus. 0 plus 2 is 2 and 4 minus 0 is 4. So I got 2 4 says my m, which simplifies to 1 half. So my m is equal to 1 half. Now I got to find my b. Well, notice I would have to come up here and write, you know, the y equals mx plus b um, and do it like this way, pick one of those points. But notice I have, when x is 0 right here, when x is 0, Whatever this number is right here, that is going to be your b or your y-intercept. So your b is actually negative 2. So now your equation then would be y equals 1 half x minus 2. That concludes this homework help video for lesson 2.4. Hope it helps and see you tomorrow.